Hey, welcome everybody. Today, Heroku is closing down their free dinos, Postgres, and data for Redis. This means that you will no longer be able to host your Node.js projects for free. A lot of people like me create projects for fun and to keep them running can get fairly expensive. I narrowed down the Node.js hosting platforms I found to be the simplest to use and don't require credit card details. Both have similar performance on their free tier, but you do need to know that free tiers usually have some sort of limitations like API requests, storage, and so on. Saying this, they're perfectly fine for small projects. Today, we will look into Cyclic and Render. Let me show you how easy it is to publish an app on both platforms. For this example, I'm going to be using a Node tutorial project that we did two years ago, which I re-uploaded recently. And all you need to note is that I have my app.js file here, which is the main file of the, of the project. And if I go to packages, on the main, I have the app.js file set. And under script, this is the important bit, is where I have the start script set to node app.js, which means that we're going to be running this file here as our main file. And if I was to click on the app.js file super quickly, you will see that the code is a little bit out of date, but it, it will work just fine. And one thing that you need to notice is that I've set the app.listen to the process.env.port, which is the environment port number that each hosting platform is using. And I've set the port to 5000 as default. That's pretty much all you need to know. Now let's jump into Cyclic and get started. The first thing that you need to do is sign up. Now, the only way to sign up in Cyclic is to use your GitHub account. So all you need to do is click continue with GitHub and sign up. I've already done that. So I'm going to click sign in instead and then continue with GitHub. Okay. Your dashboard should look very similar to mine. I already have two projects in here that I've tested a few months ago, but I'm going to be creating a brand new one. So here under create new app, click on the deploy button. And then as you can see, they have a few starter templates that you can use, such as the tiny API, the express API, a database API, you have full stack, front ends, and so on. So what I'm going to do is link my own, click on this, and I need to search for the repository that I created earlier. So I'm going to search for news. And this is the one that I'm going to be using, Node.js news clone deploy. We need to connect Cyclic to the project, so click connect. And this is going to start building the project. Okay, and this literally took nine seconds to deploy, and we already have a URL that we can see the website on. So if I click on the URL, so as you can see, it's all working. And if I was to click on one of the tutorials here from a blog, you'll see that we are getting the data and so on. So that's pretty much how you publish a project on Cyclic. The other things that you might want to look into is if you go to the dashboard, you can click on this config icon and further modify your project. If you wish to, you can set your environment variables in here. You can connect to data storage. Uh, cron jobs and so much more now let's have a look at render all you need to do is click on get started and create account you can either choose github gitlab google or you can use your email i've already created an account using github so i'm going to sign in with github super quickly so i'm going to click on sign in github and then as you can see i'm in inside here we have a couple of options as you can see you have static sites web services private services background workers, and so on. The one that we need is the web services. Click on new web service. And then inside here is where we can do exactly the same thing that we did with Cyclic. We can connect our project. So I'm going to search for news and this is the project that I need. So I'm going to click connect. We need to give it a name, news website. You can choose a region from here. So I'm going to choose the EU region, which is closer to me. The branch is the main branch and everything else is looking good. As you can see, the start command here needs to be node app.js, which I've already configured on the actual project that I showed you earlier. We have the free tier here, which gives you 512 RAM, shared, and so on. If you scroll down a little bit more, all we need to do is create web service and wait a few seconds. Okay, this should take a couple of seconds to deploy.
Okay, and now we have built successful deploying starting service with NodeApp.js and listening on port 5000. So now I can click on the URL here. And as you can see, the website is working just like with Cyclic. And now I can click on one of the articles and we get the data and so on. And if we jump back to the render website, you will see that we have similar options here. We have events, logs, disk, environment, uh, jobs, sharing, and so much more. And that's pretty much it. Play with both platforms, see which one you like more. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you found this useful. Consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.